another reason people don't like Java is the fact that a lot of times you can look at Java as being a tool like a hammer <laughs> and after a point because there's so many libraries and a lot of times people want to write things in Java so they'll make a library for it and there's tons of libraries out there you have the stability of the JVM and what happens is Java starts looking like a hammer and everything looks like a nail I have seen this happen tons of times where people are writing parsers in Java and it's like first of all why are you writing your own parser second of all have you heard about this Apache library fill in the blank <laughs> and the reason why that can get very annoying is because when you go to when you work in an enterprise environment and when I say enterprise that's a very large organization you're gonna have code that probably isn't main well maintained at some point of your interaction with the company's code base you're gonna pick up something that's like what is this why did someone do it you can try to hunt through the uh, you know commit logs but at the end of the day you're gonna see it and go this made no sense and, and it could be tons of reasons why that happened it doesn't mean that it's supposed to happen but it does it's not really much you can do to change the past you just have to fix it moving forward and I think a lot of developers that have been in a corporate setting or working for a large organization has either had this happened to them with Java, .NET, or maybe if it's a little bit older, maybe like a COBOL or, or something. But COBOL is a little bit different than a, a Java because a lot more enterprises are using it and you do have a lot of contractual development happening. So really two things that I saw was very verbose a lot of boilerplate that's one the second one is that it looks like a like it's a it's a hammer and everything looks like a nail and when you get to that point a lot of people don't like it 